The news continues right now on News Channel 5 on your side. Accused of plotting to blow up the Brexville Bridge. Tonight, some of the suspects are changing their tune. News Channel 5's Bob Jones just stepped out of the courtroom and joins us live with some late breaking details. Well, Lee, this is certainly a case that scared a lot of people and generated a lot of publicity as well. And tonight, three of the suspects who were accused of trying to blow up a bridge in Northeast Ohio have changed their plea from not guilty to guilty here in federal court in the city of Akron. Tonight, the suspects, Connor Stevens, Brandon Baxter, and Douglas Wright, pleaded guilty to the indictment. Three federal charges, including conspiracy to use weapons of mass destruction. They were involved in a plot to blow up the Route 82 bridge that connects Brexville to Sagamore Hills last May. Prosecutors say the suspects actually placed what they thought was an explosive device under the bridge and then tried to detonate it remotely while they sat inside of a restaurant. What they didn't know was the device was a dud provided by an informant and they were under surveillance by FBI agents. The federal government says the suspects should be looking at 30 years to life because this is considered terrorism. But the defense plans to argue the penalty should be more like four or five years in prison. Sentencing is actually scheduled for November. Now, four of the five suspects have now pled guilty in connection with this plot to blow up a bridge. There is only one defendant who has not pled at this point. That is Joshua Stafford. He has pled not guilty and he is currently undergoing psychiatric evaluation according to prosecutors and federal investigators. Now we did get reaction a short time ago from the U.S. attorney and from a supporter of one of the men who pled guilty today and we will bring you those details coming up tonight at six o'clock. Reporting live in Akron tonight, Bob Jones, News Channel 5. All right, Bob, thanks for that update.